willing to play neutral. And I don't imagine Matador has much experience in this game. I know uh, Matador is definitely a Smash 4 veteran, so probably familiar with it in that game. So, you know, Matcho is probably going to carry over to an extent. For sure. And one aspect that I think is going to come into play a good bit in this matchup is, uh, is the focus. The Wario doesn't have a whole lot of ways to, to break that focus in the air besides hitting both uh, parts of the neutral air. So be looking to for Tay to uh, break through a lot of Wario's offensive tools with that focus. Yeah, and I feel like it's off stage. We're gonna see a lot of we're gonna see a lot of Tatangers waiting um, because when your Wario has to come down, get one good parry. That's a quick up tilt into Shoryu, um, or just generally you know another combo move. But yeah, it's good tech though. Definitely could have gone a lot worse. Didn't for sure. Yeah, we're just gonna see a lot. The cancel card. I think it's card cancel. I think it's what it's called. Huh. The exact definition, or not the, the exact wording of canceling down smash before it comes out. And that's dead. Uh, yeah. And here's the thing. Now, Mata is playing with Outrage, which is definitely hard because Ryu's oh, pretty heavy, decently heavy to say the least. Um, he's dead. Yep. Mario, yeah, Mata should be fine. He had like two jumps. He's good. And. Yeah, even pretty much an even game at this point. Actually, no, it's not. It's just we're a minute and a half into the game. <laughs> he has Waff. He's not going to use it now, but he's one get up tilt away from getting a kill, even with half Waff. For sure. And but here's the thing. He just took like 30% off one combo. And Ryu with Rage is super strong. And that's going to get And there we go. Yeah. Never mind. So everything I just <laughs> said, disregard it. It's gonna maybe come in use in like 30 seconds, but right now, oh, he read it. He read <laughs> that. He, he read something. Yeah. It was wrong, but sure. There's an attempt. And <laughs> with the explosiveness of this match, I wouldn't be surprised if that rage for the Ryu comes online pretty darn soon. Yeah. Oh, Mata <laughs> loves bite combos. He's a big fan of just doing random stuff off off of there. Like he will sometimes just dare. Combo off of Dare, which is unheard of for Wario, due to how laggy it is and how weird it sounds. Yeah. Offstage situation. Great string into the up airs. Yeah. And at this point, once again, so he's a side B in the death, up tilt into like up smash. There's a lot of moves at this point that will link for Titanga. Um, and a lot of moves such as up smash that will kill from Matador. Giant noggin. That will do it. And yeah, so probably going to see a smaller stage for Titanga because uh, Matador is able to, well, I wouldn't necessarily say smaller. We're probably going to see a flatter stage, I'd say. Yeah, for sure. And generally a lot of the splatter stages, except with the, ex well, actually that's a lot. Specifically FD has a pretty small ceiling and smaller side blast zones. So I'd imagine we see Mana ban that. There we go, Town. Smaller side blast zone, but still a high ceiling. So it really just depends on the hitboxes that Titania can get. And yeah, the thing with this stage is that it just makes Wario's combo game so strong, especially with how floaty he is. And he moves so good, so quick in the air. Mm -hmm. Great. Great focus there. Tango's playing grounded now. The fact that he can actually get there due to... He's used to getting so much use out of these bites. Yeah, just the command grab. Just abusing whenever Titango wants to jump and catching him off guard. Did he just down smash? Yeah, I think he did. Okay. Warrior down smash. You see it once in tournaments, guys? It's like a, it's like a unicorn. <laughs> That is definitely a move that exists, but... And one that did him a whole lot of good in that situation. Exactly. Oh, he went for try to combo off the uh, um, neutral. Well, was it a neutral getup? It was a getup, basically. The getup option. Mm -hmm. And... He wanted that roll in. He was just waiting around that area. But, yeah, he's like one up tilt away. Oh. He moved forward. Okay. She's there. That is fine. He has... All the jumps are this point. And we're just going to see... We're just going to see a lot of this. 
a lot of like general mix-ups from Matador in attempt because he's gonna probably play around yeah, play around Waft, but then getting the um up there and up. Sure you can Oh um, there. And the slap's gonna take it. Wow. And this is not good at all. Okay. Normally you'd be like, oh you're down a stock, winnable. <laughs> you're but you're against a warrior with Waft. And that's people already make jokes that you're down a stock when you're playing against a Wario. He hasn't <laughs> used it yet. <laughs> yeah, there's the comeback potential is just so limited. He's trying to find as much damage as he can, as safe as he can, using these, forget the name, the red Hadoukens here, just to try and tack on as much damage, but still rough going. Great parries, though, because those would be extremely uh, bad if they hit. For sure. Yeah. At this point, he's going to be fishing out for some moves. He doesn't have to approach. He's just going to move back and forth. He's yep. trolling. <laughs> he's trolling. He knows what he's got to do. Matter, do something for the camera. Um, <laughs> that's that's I, some. I don't know. Okay, he's not dead. And yeah, it's just gonna be a lot. Of, he has to get off ledge. Yeah. He's gonna kind of. Mm. He's dead. Oh. Yeah, great. And he's not. He still has WAP. And realistically, he's one. He's really limited though. I need to tell what WAP can be comboed into due to the fact that he's at 115, but he may not even need it at this point. Yeah. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised to just see him throw it out raw. Not a whole lot else is going to combo into it. Yeah. There you go, the up smash is going to take it. And that's going to be a 2 0 for Matador. Um, not an upset, but due to the fact that Dexter got upset early by Katanga. Matador's not supposed to be here, being what yeah. he said, but he is, so. Yeah, that was wild to look in bracket and see Dexter and losers. None of our top um, four, unless, okay, let me rephrase that. So it's AOS versus Squid Plumber right now. And mm -hmm. AOS is seated fourth, Squid Plumber is seated fifth, if I remember correctly. No, he's not. He's seated ninth. Um, or seated twelfth, because JoJ got upset by Yim Lee, a Lucas player earlier, who Squid Plumber proceeded to beat. Mm. So, if. AOS coming off a strong cross up in oh, yeah. good place. Um if he can if he loses to Squid Pulper, none of our top four is gonna be in winners is gonna 